We have a list here of specific conditions. Sure. We're going to go through these and tell us which ones are more common. I mean, there's a lot of them. There's a right. plethora. But I mean, I know this is a big one, uh, yeah. ADHD. Yes. So I see that all the time. Sometimes it's also um, misdiagnosed necessarily. They may have a problem with attention because maybe they don't necessarily know how to play. So they kind of look like the wandering baby or the wandering child. They're kind of bouncing to activity to activity because I don't know what else to do with this rattle. I don't know what else to do with these these shapes like or these blocks. I don't know. I can I don't know. I can stack them and knock them over. So I'm just going to go to the next toy and maybe I can figure out what to do with that. So sometimes it truly is attention and we do see that. And that's when maybe occupational therapy comes in to get them more organized. So they're organized for me to work on my physical therapy skills because I have to have an organized child right. in order for them to have skilled learning. Um, autism spectrum disorder, again, we see it all the time. PT doesn't see them as often um, because a lot of the delay is with speech and OT. We'll see them if there was an extreme delay from babies um, and they're kind of more coordination kiddos. Cerebral palsy, again, that's neurological. We see it all the time. Fetal alcohol syndrome, fragile X, those are not as common. They're not. Skills. I want to yeah. go to the next page. There mm -hmm. is a common there, a, a few there that I think are common. Language and speech disorders. Right, uh, yes. That one is something that you work with, correct? And vision and hearing impairment. So I incorporate that into physical therapy. So we work closely with the speech therapist who would see these kiddos, but it does impact me as a therapist if I want to work on sequencing of an activity, but I want them to tell me the sequence. If they can't relay that message or maybe they don't know how to play something and they can't tell me this, so there's a frustration element. It. So I see it in that realm and I work closely with speech therapy to see how I can work on that in my session to help them.